may be seated. Hey, anything before the jury comes in? Please, Court, one brief housekeeping matter. It just dawned on me, Judge, that we never inquired at the beginning of the trial whether there was a proposed witness list from the defense. I just thought about it, so I'm just asking that at this point. No, sir. Thank you. Bring the jury. Thank you. Your next witness. Thank you, Your Honor. State calls Carrie Sheely. Sheely. And can you spell your first name, please? C A R E Y. And if you don't mind, could you take your mask off while you oh, testify? Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Yeah. Mr. Sheely, where do you work? Statewide Security Systems. And what is Statewide Security Systems? We're a security company. We do a lot of video surveillance. And can you explain to the jury where you do surveillance at? It's all over the place. I mean, all over the state, actually. Okay. And as it pertains to this particular case, what part of Columbia do you have surveillance over? Um, well, it's, it's pretty spread out. There's some areas that have more than others, but we don't have them everywhere. Obviously, there's the camera boxes that we have. And when you say camera boxes, what do you mean? It's a box that's mounted on a pole or a building that has cameras on it that record the video. And what are these cameras for? What are they recording? They're just recording anything in front of them. And who can use or access these cameras? Uh, well, the majority of our clients, uh, what they would call and request a video, and we would go and get the video and give it to them. Now I'm going to move you to March and April of 2019. Were you working with this company at that point? Oh, yeah, yeah. And what is your job if you're contacted by law enforcement? Uh, I'm respond to the request and go get the video. And how do they request the video? They could email, call, text, whatever is most convenient for them. And did you receive any requests to get any video as it pertained to March 28th, 29th, and 30th? Yes. What did? What were you asked to, to do? 
just go download video from a certain date and time frame. So who provides you with the date and time frame? And then the investigator typically that calls and requests it. So could it be, would it be Crim uh, Columbia Police Department? Yeah. And in this case, is that who contacted you? Yes. You want to make an approach? with Mark the state's exhibit number 12 and ask if you can identify that yes what is it it's the videos clips on the from the, the video that we pulled some of it. and how do you know this is the video that you pulled we looked at it all right and what is on here to let you know that uh, my initial and is what's on here a fair and accurate depiction of what you provided to law enforcement in reference to march 29th, 30th, yes. and April 4th, excuse me, March 28th, 29th, and 30th. Yes. At this time, Your Honor, I'd ask that you produce State's Exhibit 12 into evidence. No objection. No objection. Maybe for the bill. State's 12. No further questions, Your Honor. By the defense. Very briefly, Your Honor, please support. Uh, Mr. Julie, how are your video boxes labeled? Oh. Sorry about that. That's fine. Um, how are your video boxes labeled or identified? What's well, usually by just the location. Like you know, sometimes they have numbers on them. But... Okay. Um, and you said they're kind of placed around. The greater Columbia area? Yes, ma'am. Um, either on poles or on buildings, just yes, depends. Um, and there's multiple angles for each camera, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, some of them have three, some of them have four. That's right. And you said when the investigator on a case makes a request to you, you go to that box and you pull that footage. Correct. Um, and the investigators in this case, they made multiple requests for multiple different yes, intersections. Yes, um, and some of those places were in five points, the five yes, points area. Yes, ma'am. Um, you got a specific request for Saluda Drive, and is that Hardin Street, that corner? Do you recall? Saluda and Hardin, uh, yeah. Um, did you get any other requests for any boxes that are located on Saluda? Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember, but there's several on Horton Street there. Okay. Um, do you know how many boxes you have on, Sal on Saluda Avenue? Um, on Saluda, there's one on one end. There's one um, on the side of yesterday's mm -hmm. uh, on the building, and then one on the far end um, by a hair salon on the left. Okay. Do you have a security box that's close to Gourmet Shop? Where? Gourmet Shop. Yes. You do? Call me shop bus. Mm -hmm. um, do you recall yeah. off of And there's also one on Divine and Saluda. Do you recall if law enforcement made a request for you to pull the, the footage from the box near, that's closest to um, the, the gourmet shop? I don't remember off the top of my head, no. Okay. There was a lot. Yes, sir. Know. It was two years ago. Yes, yeah. Um, but if they had, you would have given it to them. Absolutely. Begging the court's indulgence. Thank you. I have no questions. Thank you. Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Next witness. Thank you, Your Honor. The state would now call um, Maria Howard. Thank 
Show the cell phones are off. My name is Maria Howard. Maria, I'm going to need you to speak real loud, okay? Maria, can you tell the jury how old you are? I'm 27. And where do you live currently? You don't have to give your address, but where do you live? In Columbia. And how long have you lived in Columbia? 14 years. Prior to that, where did you live? North Carolina. So is that where you were born and raised? Mm -hmm. I need you to say yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, so what year did you move to Columbia? 2012. And do you remember how old you were? 17. 17. Mm -hmm. Were you still in high school? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Where did you graduate? AC Floor. Um, and upon, let me ask you this. When you graduated, what did you do? After I graduated, I went to Voorhees College. And while you were at Voorhees, what did you do for fun? Party. Party. Fair to say you went out regularly? Yes, ma'am. Where did you party? When I came back home, five points. And when you say came back home, what do you came mean? Came back home to Columbia for the weekend. Where's Voorhees? It's in Denmark, and South did Carolina. You, did you live in Denmark? Yes, I was staying on campus. Okay. So you would come back to Columbia and party, is that what you just said? Yes, ma'am. And you said in five points? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you have an occasion to meet the defendant? Yes, ma'am. When did you meet him the first time? It was on a weekend that I had came home from college. So came home to Columbia? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and where did you meet him? At a club in Five Points. In Five Points? Yes, ma'am. All right. And at that time, what was your relationship? We was friends. Did you date at that time? Mm -hmm. So you were just friends? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, did you all ever date back then? You can say dating, but it was more so like a friendship. Did you all stay friends from back then until now? Or until March of 2019? We had lost contact with each other. When did you all become associated again? March, April, it was in 2020. It, before this incident, is that when you became acquainted? No. So you didn't know him prior to, not today. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase. Did you know him in March of 2019? Yes. Okay. And were you all, how did you become acquainted with him again in March of 2019? He had came to my job at McDonald's on Gunners Ferry. Okay, so I want to talk about McDonald's. Yes, ma'am. You said you worked at McDonald's in 2019? Yes, ma'am. Which McDonald's did you work at? The one on Gunners Ferry across from Rosewood. So, coming into Columbia? Yes, ma'am. And you worked at McDonald's. How did you meet him? Did he come in the McDonald's? He was going through the drive through I was outside. What were you doing outside? Smoking a cigarette because I had just got off. So, how did it happen that you talked to him? He, um, he was like, hey, Maria. And I was like, oh, wow, I haven't seen you in forever. And we exchanged numbers. Okay. And did you go back to work? No. What did you do at that point? He offered me a ride home. Did you have a car at that time? No. All right. So did you get rides a lot? Yes. Okay. So he took you back to home, you said? Yes. Where was your home at that point? Mountain Brook on Leesburg. Was it, what type of house was it? It was a condo. Was it a? A duplex. So it was a duplex? Mm hmm Was it an apartment or was it like an apartment? It was like an apartment. So can you describe to the jury, was it one story or two stories? It was two stories. 
So he took you back to Mountain Brook, you said? Yes, ma'am. And what happened when you got home? We hung out for a little while, and then he left. And let me ask you, did, was that the last time you saw him? No. What, how often did you see him after that first encounter at McDonald's? Every day. After that? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you all at that point start dating? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what do you mean by dating? Seeing somebody every day. And let's just be honest, did y'all have a sexual relationship? Yes, ma'am. All right. And at that time, did you have a child? Yes, ma'am. How old was your child? Four. Did she live with you? Yes, ma'am. Did she see, did you allow him to see her as well? Not often. Okay. So, you said that you saw him every day. What type of relationship did you mean when you said you saw him every day? Was it for long periods or short periods? Let's start there. It was for long periods. So, what did y'all do during those long periods? Watch TV, hang out, eat. Did you go to Five Points? No. Did you all go to bars at all? No. Do you know if he liked to go to bars? Yeah. How do you know that? Because he always talked about Five Points. And what did he tell you about Five Points? It was lit. And what does, in case people don't know, what does it's lit mean? It's so good. It's a place to have a good time. Okay. And that's what he told you about Five Points? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And were you at that time going to Five Points? No. Why not? Because I was working double shifts, and I didn't have time to party no more. Right. So I'm going to move you to Thursday, the 28th of March, 2019. Were you two seeing each other at that time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you were working at McDonald's, I believe you said? Yes, ma'am. So tell the jury what you all did. That Was he there when you got up that morning? No. Did he stay over during this time period that you knew him? Would he spend the night with you? He was supposed to, but he never came back. What do you mean he was supposed to? Like, he was telling me, I'm going to stay tonight, and then he just didn't. How do you know that? Because if I wake up, the cover was still the way that I put it, and he wasn't there. Would you all go to bed together? No. Where did you expect him to stay if he was staying with you? In the living room. And while we're talking about who was staying with you, was anyone else living with you at the time? Yes, ma'am. Who else was living? My with daughter's you? cousin. What's her name? Naisha. Okay. Did anything happen with Naisha during this time period? Um, she just didn't follow my rules, so I tried to get her evicted. What do you mean by follow your rules? The guidelines in my house. Which were what? The cleanliness. So, what was she not doing that? abide by your cleanliness. She wouldn't clean up and her daughter had urinated on my daughter's floor and it smelled my, it had my whole house smelling. So you wanted to do what based on that? Get her put out. I wanted her to leave. So what did you do? I went and typed a letter up okay. and I was going to get it notarized. And where did you put that letter? In the glove box of his car. But what kind of car did he have? A black Impala. Did you ever see him drive a different car? No ma'am. And did you ever see him let anyone else drive that Impala? Besides me, no ma'am. And when you drove it, was he with you or let you drive it alone? He was with me. So you said you put the letter in the glove box? Yes ma'am. Why was that? Because I was going to the bank to get it notarized. Okay. Do you remember when you put that in there? Thursday. It was a Thursday. On Thursday? Yes ma'am. Okay. So I believe I interrupted you, but you said on Thursday. Mm-hmm. What were you planning on doing on Thursday? I was supposed to go to my mom's house and wash clothes. And where, in general, did your mom live? What side of town? Northeast. Okay. And how were you going to get there? He was going to take me. And did he take you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Were you able to wash your clothes? No, ma'am. And so what did you do because you couldn't wash your clothes? I brought him back home to my house. Was there anything significant that needed to be washed? My work shirt. Why did it need to be washed? Because I needed it for work. So. Since you couldn't wash it? I couldn't it. wash it at my mom's house. So what did you do based on that? I asked him if he could wash it at his sister's house. And did he? Yes, ma'am. Did you see him wash it or did he just take it? He took it. Okay. And was your daughter with you at this time? No, ma'am. Right. Where was your daughter? She was with my mom. Okay. Is, was that normal or out of the ordinary? It was normal. So Thursday afternoon into Thursday night, where are you at? 
At home. With who? Nate. What are y'all doing? Watching TV. Okay. And do you remember what you were watching? Something on the Ion channel. Something on the what? Ion channel. Ion channel, okay. And at what point did you, or do you go to bed? It was around 12, 1 in and the morning. You, earlier you said he didn't sleep with you. Did he sleep with you that night? I mean, and by sleeping, I mean literally going to sleep in your bed. No. Okay. Where were you? In my bed. Where was he when you went to sleep? Downstairs. How do you know he was downstairs? The TV was still on, and before I went to bed, I went back downstairs to make sure. And what was he wearing on Thursday? Um, a gray Nike hoodie with the drawstring and like the wind, windbreaker sweatpants. What color were the sweatpants? Like a navy blue. And was it a hoodie or a sweatshirt? Uh, it was a thin shirt with a hood on it. With a hood on it, okay. So you see, you said he's downstairs and you go to your room and go to sleep? Yes, ma'am. And when you go to sleep, he's downstairs? Mm -hmm. You positive of that? Unless he left, because he's good about leaving. But when you last saw him, he was downstairs, mm -hmm. is that? Yes, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So what time do you go to bed? Around 1.32. And at that point, he's downstairs at 1.30? Yes, ma'am. Where, is he there when you wake up? No. And what time did you wake up? I have to be to work around seven. So I wake up around 5.30, 6 o'clock. And so around 5.30, 6 o'clock, he's not there? No, ma'am. Were you, was that what you expected? No. What did you expect? Him to be there. Why? Because he told me he was gonna be there when I wake up. And why, or had you asked him to be there when you woke up? Yes, ma'am. Why? Because I don't like staying by myself. Okay. And had he made you any promises about staying? Mm-hmm. Yes, what, what did he tell you? That he would be there when I wake up. But he wasn't. But he wasn't. So what did you do when you woke up and he wasn't there? I called his phone and I texted him. Did you get a response? No. Okay. So you said you called and you texted his phone. Did he have more than one phone or just one phone? More than one phone. Do you remember how many he had? Two. Did you try to call both or yes, just one? Yes, ma'am. Did you get a response on either phone? No, ma'am. All right, so how did you feel about that? I was upset because I knew I had to go to work and I don't like being late for work. Okay. So what did you do? I called my mom and by the time I got off the phone with my mom, he was pulling in the driveway. Do you remember what time that was? No, ma'am. Was it after you were supposed to have already been at work? Yes, ma'am. And you were supposed to be at work at seven? Yes, ma'am. So what did you do when he, how did you know he'd gotten there, start there? I looked out the window and I seen his car out there. So could, you could see your, could you see your front yard from your window? Yes, ma'am, the Which front window? window. The front window. Okay. Like your bedroom front window, your the living room? living room. Okay. So what do you do when you see him? I went outside to ask him where my shirt was. And I'm going to stop a little bit. When you see him pull up, what is he driving? His black info. Okay. And you go outside, you said? Yes, ma'am. And what do you say? Um, where's my work shirt? Because did you have your uniform? I had my pants and my shoes on, but I didn't have my shirt because he was supposed to wash it. And did he have it? Yes, but it was wet. It was wet. Mm -hmm. Did you tell him or say anything to him about that? Yes, ma'am. What'd you say? Why is my shirt wet? Well, he said you was going to dry my clothes, wash my shirt and dry it. What did he say? Nothing really. Okay. Um, and let me ask you this. Were you real nice about the way you asked or were you upset? I was upset. Okay. And does he give you your shirt? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you said that. And so what do you do at that point? I asked him for my work hat. And tell Jerry, what's your work hat? It's a, like a, a sun visor with okay. an M on it. And I'm going to repeat what you said because you mumbled a little bit. Did you say it was a visor? Yes, with an M on it for McDonald's. And where had you left that visor? In the back window. Of what? His car. Of what Next kind of car? car? His Impala. Okay. And when had you left it there? The day before when he picked me up. And where did you leave it? In the back window. 
So did you, what, if anything, did you expect about that visor when he showed up? Where did you expect it to be? In the window. Was it? No, ma'am. Okay. Did you ask him about that? Yes, ma'am. And what did he tell you? That it was in the country. And what did you say to that? Why would it be in the country? And what did he tell you? It had blood on it. I'm going to need you to repeat that. It had blood on it. He told you that the visor had blood on it? Yes, ma'am. Did you ask him, what did you ask him? Why would the hat have blood on it? And what did he tell you? You tell me. Mind my business. Mind your business. Did you ask him again? Yes. And what did he tell you? Mind my business. All right. So he had your shirt but not your hat, so what did you do? Um, I called my job and told my boss that I was on the way, and she had an extra hat for me. And so what would you do? I left my house to go to work. Were you able to go straight to his car? Yes. No, no, no. What happened? He left and said that he had to take his nephew to school. So after he shows up, he leaves again? Yes, ma'am. And what did you do when he left? I went out the door, and I shut the door behind me, and I didn't know I had to unlock the door. So I had to go to my neighbor's house and wait for him to get back. Where were your keys? In his car. And so you wait with your neighbor, I think you just said? Yes, ma'am. How long is he gone? Like 10 minutes. How long, and you said he went to go get his nephew? To take his nephew to school. Do you know where his, ne was his nephew in the car? No. Do you know where his nephew lived? On Rosewood. How far from, how long does it take to go from your house to the nephew's house? Like, from Leesburg to Rosewood, that's like 30 minutes. So did he have traffic. time to go from your house to his nephew's in that 10 minutes? No. So he leaves and comes back? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Had he already given you your shirt at that point? No. So he, when does he I put my shirt on in the car. So when you said he gave you back your shirt wet, was that before or after the first time he shows up at your house that morning? The second time. Okay. So the first time, I just want to make sure we got the timeline yes, right. He at, you ask him where it is. Yes, ma'am. And then the second time is when he actually gives it to you. Yes, ma'am. All right. And it's wet? Yes, ma'am. All right. So what do you do with your wet shirt? I, put, I had to put it on because I had to get to work. And do you, does he take you to work? We went to the convenience store because he had to get gas on Leesburg. Okay. And what, if anything, did you notice about the car at that point? That it was like dry blood in the car. Where in the car? On the dashboard and beside the seats. When you say the dashboard, what are you talking about? The, where the airbags are. Like the console? Yes, the bicycle console? Okay. And where else did you see blood? In the back seat. In the back seat. Was anything else in the back seat? It was a sheet over the, over the back seat and the back of the driver's seat. And how do you mean there was a sheet? It was kind of like covering, but it wasn't all the way covering the seat. Okay, was it like draped on the seat so you could see the outline of the seat or was it above the seat or tell, describe Just like that? through over the seat where you can't see. Okay. Could you see anything in the back seat besides the sheet? Blood. Where did you see blood then? On the seat. On the seat, mm -hmm. okay. Not, not the part that was covered or was it under the, could you see through the, the sheet? Like the part of the seat that wasn't covered, you could see blood. Okay. Did you, what did you do when you saw the blood? I asked him, why is it blood in, this, in the car? Did you hit a dog? And what did he say? Mama business. Did he tell you he hadn't had his car all day? No. Tell you, did he tell you where he'd been other than being in the country? No. So what did you do based on that? After that, I went to work. Okay. Um, and who was supposed to take pick you up from work that day? He was supposed to pick me up. How did y'all decide that? I told him that what time that I got off, and he said that he would be there to pick me up. And I'm going to need you to say that again because you mumbled up. I told him what time I got off, and he said that he would be there, make sure he was there to pick me up. And was he there to pick you up? No. And before that, did he tell you what he was going to go do while you were at work? Clean his car. Um, did he have your keys? Yes. Why did he still have your keys? Because I was worried about getting to work, and I, he looked like he was sleepy, so I let him get the key to go in the house to go to sleep. Did you all talk about him being tired or sleepy? No. Okay. You just thought he was? The way he looked. And so you go to work. How did you get home if he didn't? A co-worker brought me home. Co-worker brought you home. Yeah. Is that out of the ordinary for a co-worker to take you home? No. Okay. 
But this day, that wasn't supposed to that happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. So what did you do when you got home? I bammed on the door. Why? <laughs> because I didn't have my key, and he didn't pick me up from work, and I was mad. All right. And I just realized I didn't ask you something. When he picked you up, what was he wearing? When he picked you up to take you to work, what was he wearing? The same clothes. The same clothes from when? Thursday. When you got home and banged on the door, did he answer? Yes. And what did, what happened when he came to the door? He looked shook. And what do you mean by look shook? Like he seen a ghost. And how did you bang on that door? Hard, like the police. Banged on it like the police. Mm -hmm. And when he when he looked, he looked shook. Mm -hmm. He showed up. Yes, ma'am. Right. What did he have on when he came to the door looking shook? The same clothes. And what did you do once you got in the house? I went and took my shower and everything from work. Did he take a shower? No. Did you say anything about that? Yes, ma'am. What'd you say? <laughs> Why you still have the same clothes on? Why you haven't washed your ass? Say it again. Why he haven't washed his ass? You asked him why he hadn't washed his ass. Yes, right. ma'am. Did he respond? No. So what did you do after you got out of the shower? I put my clothes on and I went outside. And what was he doing? Cleaning the car. Okay. Did you all clean in the car how? Like scrubbing it with something. Could you tell what he was cleaning it with? It smelled like, the car smelled like chlorine. And I'm gonna break that down. You say it smelled like chlorine. When did you first notice it smelled like chlorine? When you were going to work or after you came? After I got off work. Were, you said you went outside. Were you standing by the car? Like how? Yes, ma'am. So, what were y'all's plans that day? To go to my mom's house. Okay. Um. You said, and I, I interrupted you. You said he was cleaning, and you could smell chlorine. It was bleach, but it was so strong it smelled like chlorine. Okay. Did you get? Did you see him in the car cleaning, or what did you see? The bleach bottles on the seat, and the door is open. All right, did you help him clean? No. Why not? It's not my car. So, did you see him taking any items out of the car? No. Do y'all get back in the car? Yes, ma'am. And at that point, who's driving when you get back in? I was. Why? I needed to go to my mom's house and get my rent money. All right. And when you get in the car, did you have to do anything with the seat? I had to adjust the seat. Why? To my height. Does his seat, is it upright or laid back? When he's driving, it's laid back, but when I drive, it's up. And so where do you go? To my mom's house. And you're driving? Yes. Do you stop anywhere? I had to go to the ATM. Okay. And while you're driving, what is he doing? Cleaning the car, still. Still clean, with what? Like, some type of wipes. Did you ask him about that? Yeah. What'd you ask him? Where do you get them from? Why are you cleaning the car with wipes? What'd he say? Not my business. And what, if anything, does he have on, have on his hands when he's doing this? He had, like, the surgical gloves. What do you mean by surgical? The blue surgical gloves. And did you see him clean anything besides the interior of the car? This little hunter's knife-like thing. I'm going to show you what's been marked as state's exhibit number 13 and ask if you recognize that. Yes, ma'am. What is that? The thing that he was cleaning. And does that fairly and accurately depict the way it looked when you saw it? Yes, ma'am. This time I've asked to introduce state's exhibit number 13 into evidence. So this is what you saw. 
Yes, ma'am. And when was he doing this? While I was driving down the road. Had you ever seen him pull that tool out and clean it before that night? No, ma'am. So, had you seen him with that previously? He showed it to me, but it wasn't open. Okay, so you, this wasn't the first time you'd seen it, it was the first time you'd seen it open. Open, yes ma'am. So you're driving around and he's cleaning the tool in the car. Yes ma'am. Right. Do you go to your mom's? Yes ma'am. And were you able to get the money? Yes ma'am. Right. What do you do after that? I went back home to Mountain Brook and to wait on my landlord to pay my rent. All right. At any point, do you leave again? No. Um, where's your daughter? She was at daycare. Okay. Do you have, ever have to go get her that day? Yes, because I forgot she was at daycare. I was so tired. Okay. So who was supposed to pick her up? My mom was supposed to pick her up. Did she? But she didn't. So what did you have to do because of that? I had to drive his car to go get her. Did he go with you? Yes. And so you go to, what, where, what side of town was she located? Killian. Killian, okay. So you go there and pick her up? Yes, ma'am. All right, where does she sit? In the back, on um, the passenger side, in Did her you, seat. In her seat. In her Can car you, seat. It's a bucket seat. So when you say a bucket seat, is it like a booster seat? Or? A booster seat, not the infant seat. All right. So was it behind the driver or behind the passenger? The passenger. All right. Did you put her in the car? Yes, ma'am. Was there any conversation between you and Mr. Rowland about her getting in your car? He told me he don't want her in the car, but I had no choice but to go get her. Did he tell you why? Because there was blood in the car. So, but you have to go get her, you said? Mm-hmm. So what did you do? I went and got my baby. Okay. And does she get in the car? Mm, yes, ma'am. Okay. Where do y'all go after you pick her up? We went back home. So, does she stay with you the rest of the night? Yes, ma'am. Does Mr. Rowland? No. Okay. Do, um, does anyone else come to your house that night or that, or into the morning? His friends. Okay. Do you remember who came over? I don't remember one of them name, but one of them name was... Uh, yeah, speak up. I don't remember their names, but two people had came to okay. the house. Were they there to see you or Mr. They was there to see him. Did they speak and talk? Yeah, we conversated. All right. And did they stay or leave? They left because they was going out. Who was going out? All the three of them. All, including Mr. Rowland? Yes. Were you planning on going out? No. Did they say where they were going? Five points. Was that unusual for him to go to five points? No. When he left, what car what did he leave in? His car, the Impala. What, if anything, did you say to him? Why would you drive that car with blood in it? Any response? No. Do you remember what time they left? It was early morning. What do you mean by early morning? It was after 12 o'clock, so it was another, another day. Okay. Do you know exactly what time? No. Okay. And let me ask you this. What, if anything, was he wearing when he left to go out with his friends? He had changed clothes and put on a gray Puma sweatsuit. Did you see him change clothes? No. And I want to ask you, did, what, if anything, did he have in terms of a phone when you saw him on Friday? It was a phone in his car, and I asked him where did he get it from because it looked like a female phone. And why do you say it looked like a female it phone? Was a rose gold iPhone and it was in perfect condition. All right, and where was it located? In the, it's a button that you mash and the radio thing go up, it was in there. So is there like a holder or something beside? Mm -hmm. Yes ma'am. All right, and so that's where it was? Mm -hmm. Yes ma'am. Did you ask him where that phone was from? I asked him where did he get it from. What did he tell you? He found it. And you stated again, what kind of condition was it in? It was in perfect condition. Did it look like it had been dropped? No. Did it look like it had been in the dirt? No. Did he ask you, or did he tell you anything about what he planned to do with that phone? He said he was trying to get it flashed over for me, but I don't do iPhones. What do you like? I like Androids. All right. So you didn't need that phone? No. And did you have a phone? Yes, ma'am. So he leaves? Yes, ma'am. All right. Does he come back to your house mm. after he leaves with his friends? No. All right. 
when is the next time you know anything about this case? What do you see? Um, when it was on the news, I seen that she was the, she was missing, and then they showed the clip of his car. And what did you think when you saw the car? It all made sense to me now. What do you mean by that? The, um, the blood, she's missing, that's his car. How'd you know it was his car? Because it had mud on the back by the fender. And what, why didn't you call the police at that moment? I was scared. So what did you do? Did you go to work? No. Why not? Because I had to get myself together, so I faked uh, my baby being sick to take her to doctor's care so I could get myself together. Who took you? His brother. And what, if anything, did you say to him about the car? Or there being blood in it? That looks like Nate's car. All right. And did police ever come speak with you? Yes, ma'am. And when was that? The first time they came, I, I forgot what day it was, but I had did a double shift and they came and woke me up out of my sleep. And then they came back three, two to three days later, but I was, I was off, so I was recuperated. So I'm gonna start with the first time you speak with them. Mm -hmm. I think you just told the jury you had a double shift. What was a double shift? I worked <coughs> over 12 hours that day. Over 12 hours? Yes, ma'am. And you went home and went to sleep? Yes, ma'am. And they woke you up? Yes, ma'am. So were you tired or well rested when you talked? I to was them? tired exhausted and were you able were you trying to be helpful when you talked to them i was were you able to tell them everything at that point i thought i told them what i could at the time did they do question like i'm doing with you or was it just talk to them it was just talking did you leave out some things yeah did you do it on purpose no and you said they talked to you another time and at that point you would had some sleep yes ma'am and were you, did you talk to them? Yes, ma'am. Did you try to tell them everything you could? Yes, ma'am. All right. And they asked to look at your phone. Did you let them? Yes, ma'am. And do you remember what they did with your phone? And I just know they had it for a long time. They took it from you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. They took it from you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, did they give it back to you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you have any problems with that? No. What, if anything, did they do at your house? They searched my house. Did you have any problems with that? No. Do you remember if his phone was working on the 28th and the 29th? Could you call it? No. Why not? It was, the bill was supposed to be paid and he didn't pay the bill, so he was using my Wi-Fi. What do you mean by using your Wi-Fi? The, use the internet. So. He would connect the phone to the Wi-Fi. For the, um, so the phones worked? Yeah, they worked, but you just had to be connected to the Wi-Fi. And I'm going to ask you, I'm skipping around a little bit to make sure I covered everything. When you came home from being at McDonald's and he didn't pick you up, so this would be the 28th, and he, you said he, you knocked on the door, he looked shook. Did you, could you tell if he'd been asleep? Yes, ma'am. How did you know? I could tell when he'd been asleep. Like, he got this look where he, you can tell a person been asleep. And where had he been sleeping? Could you tell that? He was in my room, but he wasn't on my bed. How could you tell that? Because the cover and stuff was on the floor. And on the floor? Yes, ma'am. And were his clothes clean or dirty? Dirty. Could you tell what was on them? Blood. You could see it? Yes, ma'am. Um, did you ever notice anything about, what if anything did you notice about Chloe's shoes after she got out of his car? Um, when I took her to doctor's care and she was sitting on the table, she had blood on the bottom of her shoes. Okay. And so what did you do? I took them off from her and threw them in the closet. Um, in your house, when they searched it, did they find any marijuana or any edibles? Mm-hmm. 
Yes, ma'am. So you all, did you smoke marijuana back then? Back then I did. Did Mr. Rowland? Yes. Babe, the court's indulged. Um, when he was sleeping and looking shook, I think I said the wrong date. It was the 29th, correct? The 28th was Thursday. Yeah, this was Friday. Okay, that's my bad. I said that. I'm sorry. So on the 29th is when you knocked on the door and he looked shook. Yes, ma'am. He was sleeping on the floor. Yes, ma'am. All right. And to clarify, you said his brother, was it his blood brother or someone he called brother that took you to doctor's care? I don't know if it's his blood brother or not, but he called him his brother. Okay, he called him his brother. Yes, ma'am. All right. And then you stated he was cleaning the car. Can you tell the jury where is your your trash can outside dumpsters in relation to your house? Are they the front yard, the backyard? The backyard. In the backyard. Yes, ma'am. And can you get to those dumpsters? With, do you have to go through your house? You don't have to. You can go around the fence. Is there anything that could keep you from being able to go in the dumpster? No. So if someone's out front, they can go to the back? Yes, ma'am. And they can put stuff in the dumpster? Yes, ma'am. Did you put anything in the dumpster between Friday and Saturday? No, ma'am. Did you ever see him wear head coverings? Like a do-rag or a bandana? Yes, ma'am. What did he wear? He would wear um, like a toboggan, a scully, a black one, and a do-rag. Showing you what's been already been marked as state's exhibit number 11. Yes, ma'am. Does this look familiar? Yes, ma'am. What is this? A do-rag. And is this what he was wearing? Yes, ma'am. What about State's Exhibit? I've never seen never that. Never seen that one. But you've seen this one? Yes, ma'am. And he did he always wear bandanas on his head? The black one, yes. Okay. And what about pullover hoodies? Hoodies, yes. And you said when he was cleaning, did you ever see him throw away or put items in a bag? No. In the car? Was he when he was cleaning the car? Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. What was he doing with them? He was putting them, like, the wipes that he done use in a trash bag, like a grocery store bag. Like, what do you mean by a grocery store bag? Like the, the plastic bags that you get from the grocery store. He was putting them in that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is the letter that I had typed to. Can you just speak in the microphone? This is the letter that I had typed to my daughter's cousin. And is that the eviction letter? Yes, ma'am. And where did you leave that letter? In the glove box. And is that a fair and accurate depiction of what you left in the glove box? Yes, ma'am. I'd ask to introduce State's Exhibit 14 into evidence. Any objection? No objection. It's admitted.
left in his vehicle? Yes, ma'am. And where did you leave it? In the glove box. And what was it in? An envelope. And it was in an envelope? Yes, ma'am. And do you remember what kind of shoes, I asked you about clothing, what kind of shoes he was wearing? Um, Nike slides. What do you mean by slides? Does some people call them flip-flops? Yes. So what, slide, what are slides? Nike slides that you just slide your feet in. Do you remember Let's what color? See. Red and black. Red and black. When, so the night, I guess it's the morning of the 29th. Mm -hmm. I think the morning, so y'all have gone to bed, it's 1.30 in the morning. What does he have on? The grayish hoodie, Nike hoodie, and the one breaker pants. And you say, mm -hmm. did he get in the bed with you with all that on? No. How did he get in the bed or did he? He would take the pants off. And did he get in the bed with you that night? Mm-hmm. Okay. And earlier you said at some point he was downstairs. Did he get out of the bed and go downstairs? Yeah. Where did the pants go? They were, like, when he take his pants off, they would be beside the bed. When you got when up? When he got up, he put them back on. And when he got up to go downstairs, he put them back mm -hmm. on? Yes, ma'am. No further questions at this time, Cross examination. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm please support. All right, Ms. Howard, how are you? I'm good. Good. Um, you moved into that Mountain Brook apartment. Um, would that have been beginning of March? Yes, ma'am. Um, around maybe March 9th? Yes, ma'am. Is that right? And the time frame that we're talking about here today is about three weeks later. Is that right? That sounds right. Okay. And at this point, um, it's some, at some point between the time you move in to the Mountain Brook apartment on March 9th and March 28th is when you say that Nate comes through the drive-thru when you're at work. Yes, ma'am. You don't know the exact day that is? No. So, but within that three-week period? Yes, ma'am. And that night that he, and it's, is it nighttime when he drives yes. through? And that night he comes over, brings you home. Yes, ma'am and ends up leaving. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. But he comes back that night? That morning. The he next takes me morning. to work. So he didn't stay with you that night? No. So he came back the next morning and took you to work? Yes, ma'am. And you don't know what day that is? Not off the top of my head, no. Okay. And did that same day that, um, I guess the first morning that would have been that he took you to work, did he pick you up from work that day? Yes. He did. Okay. Now, we've talked a lot about um, Nate's car and um, what you are saying you saw in that car. Yes, ma'am. And you told the jury that you drove that car, right? I drove it to my mom's house. And, you, and that was the day um, that he was late picking you up for work. Yes, ma'am. And... When he did pick you up for work that morning, when he was late picking you up, mm -hmm. 
you're telling us that you saw blood in the car that morning. Yes, ma'am. And you're saying it was dried blood. Yes, ma'am. And you got in the car, right? Mm hmm Yes, ma'am. And he drove you to work. Yes, ma'am. I made a stop along the way. We went to the store to get gas. You got gas. And then he drops you off at work. Yes, ma'am. And you you say your shirt is wet, so you put on a wet shirt to go to work. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Later that same day, you get back in the car. Yes, ma'am. You're driving this time. To go to Northeast. With blood in the car. Yes, ma'am. At some point, you put your child in that car. Yes. Put her in the back seat. Right? Yes, ma'am. Her car seat's back there. Yes, ma'am. Her booster seat. Yes. Had that booster seat, was that in there the, um, it was in the car the morning um, when he picked you up for work, right? Yes. And on the driver's side? The passenger side. It's on the passenger side. So it was behind the, the passenger, passenger seat, seat in the back seat. Yes, ma'am. And you could see that. Yes, ma'am. And so later that day, you put your daughter, Chloe, you put her in the car. That was that night that I went and picked her up from daycare. In that seat. Yes, ma'am. And you say she gets blood on her shoe. Yes, ma'am. From the back seat. From stepping on the floorboard. Okay. And in this, uh, I'm saying three weeks, because uh, we're using the time frame of you moving into the Mountain Brook apartment and then March 29th. So about 20 days, mm -hmm. right? Yes, ma'am. The majority of the time when you two were hanging out, you're at your apartment. Yes, ma'am. You don't go anywhere else. We will stop by his sister house. Stop by his sister's house. Yes, ma'am. But as far as going out anywhere, we didn't. I uh, know friends of his would come over to your house. Yes. Just they that, only came over that one time. That one time. Mm -hmm. So for that short period of time that you guys are romantically involved, you would be in the car, but then drive to your house and, and stay. Yes. And you testified that he would come to your house and stay, but not stay the night. Most of the time, yes, ma'am. Okay. So, but he would be there when you would wake up in the morning? He would make, yes. Okay. And on how many occasions would you say that that, that was what happened, that he didn't stay the night with you? When I go to sleep, that's when he would leave. And you're you're a hard sleeper. Yes, ma'am. And you would you're sure that he would leave. Yes, ma'am. Because when I wake up to go to the bathroom, he wouldn't be there. He wouldn't be in in the house. In the house. And you have a bad you have a bathroom upstairs. Yes, ma'am. And your bedroom is upstairs. Yes, ma'am. And that would be the bathroom that you would go to. Yes, ma'am. You remember telling this jury that on, he was downstairs on direct that he would mm -hmm. be sleeping downstairs. Yes, ma'am. And that would always be the setup. If he would stay? Until a couple of weeks after. When we first started talking, a couple of weeks after, I started letting him sleep upstairs. Okay. So he had slept upstairs with you? Yes, ma'am. In your bed. Um, but you you told the jury on the night of the 28th, that Thursday leading into the 29th, which is that Friday morning, remember you told us on direct that, that he went downstairs to sleep on the couch? Yes, ma'am. So he didn't stay with you in your bed that night? No. And you go to bed that night between 12 and 1 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. And this is, again, Thursday night, but going into Friday, Friday morning hours, yes, early morning. You remember, um, you remember speaking with Investigator Blackman? Yes. Uh, you you actually spoke to him a couple, well, at, at least once, and then you spoke to another investigator with Fled. Yes, ma'am. And you remember telling them that you fell asleep in your bed. Yes, ma'am. And that was around 1.30. Right? Yes, ma'am. 
And at that time, you both were in bed watching TV, TV. together. Yes, ma'am. Um, you're watching it on, I think it's Chloe's, maybe, tablet? Our tablet, yes, ma'am. And had been watching something maybe on Disney Channel. Yes, ma'am. And you fell asleep about 1.30. Yes, ma'am. Had even posted something on Snapchat. Yes, right? ma'am. OK. And you told us today he's wearing um, a gray Nike hoodie. Yes, ma'am. And windbreaker tight pants. Yes, ma'am. Blue. Yes, ma'am. And he had been wearing some slides. Yes, ma'am. And some socks. Yes, ma'am. And that he is downstairs in your apartment at 1.30. No, he was in the bed with me. So now you're saying he was in the bed with you? Yes. Okay. A little confusing. I think on, on direct, you told us he was downstairs at 1.30. He was with me in bed. He was with you in bed. OK. And you told us that when you wake up the next morning, he's not there. He's not. And you told us previously that was something. I mean, he you didn't have to be to work until 7, right? Mm -hmm. yes, and this was, you woke up between 5.30 and 6 AM? Yes, ma'am. And the plan was that he would come back to take you to work. He was supposed to stay. He was supposed to stay that yes. night? Yes, that night he was supposed to stay. He told me he was going to stay the night with me. Okay. He wasn't leaving. OK. And previously, had he, he had not stayed the night with you? No, he, he, he always end up leaving early morning when I go to sleep. When you would go to sleep. But. This particular night, he told you he was going to stay. Yes, ma'am. OK. And you told us on direct that he told you he would be there when you woke up. That's what yes. you're saying. OK. That means he was going to be in the house with me when I wake up. Gotcha. That's how you took it. Yes. OK. And whenever you woke up and he wasn't there, that's when you start calling him. Yes, ma'am. And no response? No. No tech. The text didn't? It didn't go through. Didn't go through. And that's because his phones was off. His phones were off. No service. No service. He had to connect to your Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi anywhere else. If you went out to eat, use the Wi-Fi wi at the mm -hmm. restaurant, or if he's at someone's house, connected their Wi-Fi. Yes. And that was the same situation for your house. Yes. You had wi wireless internet at your house. Yes, ma'am. And he would connect to that wireless yes. internet. And you're upset with him because he's not there. Right. And you have to go to work. Right? right? You're going to be late. And I don't like being late for work. I, and that's understandable. Um, and he, at this point, he's got the key to your apartment. Yes. When I went to my mom's house, I left the key in his car. You left the key in his car? Yes. Was it on a, it's on a key ring? Yes. Along with other keys? Yes. Including your mom's keys? It was my mom's keys. To her house? Yes. And that was what was left in his car? Yes. OK. And you're telling us at today that he had your shirt for work? Yes. And he had taken it to his get washed? His sister's to wash it. And that was the plan the night before? Yes. He had told you he was going to do that? Yes. And when he brought it back? It, it was, wasn't dry. It wasn't dry. It was wet. Yes. And you had gone the day before, though, to your mom's house. Right. But I was the supposed to of wash doing laundry. clothes, but it didn't go as planned. It didn't go as planned. OK. When he comes to get you, you st what time exactly is he, is he back at your house? I don't know the exact time. But it was after 7 o'clock? Yes. Because you had to be at work Because I had to be seven. to work at 7. And do you know what time you went, you actually got to work that day? Like 7.45. 7.45. And so it was sometime between, we know, 7 and 7.45. Yes, He's at your house. And that's the first time. Yes. And 
he leaves. He lives. He's gone for, like you say, about 10 minutes. minutes. And that's when he comes back with the shirt. Yes. Okay. Did you, had you asked him about the shirt before he left? Yes. And he said, I got your shirt. I got to take my nephew to school. I'll be right back. Be right back. And he came right back 10 minutes later. 10 minutes later. Okay. And at this point, is the sun up? Yes. It's come up. Mm -hmm. And you get in his car, right? Yes. And immediately... You're telling us you, you noticed the blood? No. Not immediately? No. I didn't notice it until we got to the store to get gas. Okay. And is that when you ask him about yes. that? Yes. Okay. And at what point do you notice this sheet over the back seat? When we was at the store. At the store? Up. Yes. Are you in the back seat looking around? No. You're not in the back seat? I was in the front seat, in the passenger seat, and I turned around. Okay. And Chloe's seat's back there? Yes. In the passenger seat? Behind the passenger Behind seat. Behind the passenger seat. And you can see that? Yes. It's not covered up by the sheet? No. And the sheet, you say it's it's draped over the back seat. Yes. But like hanging over kind of the driver side and mm. then... Over the back. Over the back, but not over Chloe's seat. No, her seat was on top of the sheet. Her sheet's on top of the sheet. And he doesn't tell you anything. No. That what happened? Um, and you just go to work. Yeah. Expecting him to come pick you back up. Yes. He's got the key to your house still. Yep. So when you get home, you testified the door's locked. Yes. You can't get inside. No. You still can't get him to answer the phone. No. Phone's so still I not just, working. The car is in the driveway, so I knew he was in the house, so I started bamming on the door. Phone's still, still not working. No. Gives you that, the user, what's, what's the, would you get a message, uh, a lady's voice? Yes. And it would tell you this number's not in service? Yes. Okay. And you said, you told the jury on direct that when you got home, you took a shower. Mm -hmm. yes. Right after work. Is that right? Yes. And that Mr. Roland, that Nate is outside cleaning his car. When I went in the house, he came out the door. And what time of day is this? I got off at like 2.30 that day. Okay. And it takes at least 30 minutes to get from uh, the wall, the McDonald's to road the, my house. About 30 minute drive? Yes. Okay. And he's outside at this point? Yes. And you know that, you tell you see that? Yes. Okay. And you don't go out there to help him? I went outside to talk to him. And that's when I smelled the bleach. You smelled and the bleach. And the bottles in the back seat. And again, you ask him, what are you doing? Yes. What's going on? And he wouldn't tell me. He doesn't tell you. And you don't call the police? No. You, at that point, make a plan to go to your mom's house? Yes. You need to get rent money. Yes. And she lives out in Sand Hills. Yes. And that's another maybe 30 minute drive mm -hmm. or so? Yes. And you get back in the car, right? Yeah. This time you're driving. Yes. Yeah. You'll make a stop at the ATM, mm -hmm. get yes. your rent money, right? Yeah. And um, you do go to your mom's house. Yes. Again, you've got the key to your mom's house. Yes. It's on the key ring. That he's got, and that's the 29th that Friday, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Get back. The landlady's at your house. You need to pay, and I pay my rent. Okay. And this is when you say, you told us on direct that that that's when you see Nate put gloves on, right? When we left my house the first time to go to my mom's mm -hmm. house. We was going down Beltline, and he put the gloves on because he was cleaning with wipes. Mm -hmm. In the car? In the car. And you don't drive to the police station? No. You don't call the police? No. He's in there cleaning a car, right? Right. He's got wipes, or he's got gloves on, right? Right. And wipes, right? Right. And he's wiping down his car. Yes. And at some point, 
he pulls out this hunting knife. Right. The picture we saw here, this this multi tool, right? Right. And you say he's he begins cleaning that. Right. Where does he where does he pull it out from? The the pocket in the side of the door. On the passenger side. On the passenger side. Passenger side. And you said you've seen it before. Right. He had it, pulled it out, and showed it to you for whatever. But it wasn't reason. open. Wasn't it? And you, you told us that you forgot that Chloe was at daycare? Yes, because I was so tired. Mm -hmm. I went home. Yep. And this was, uh, at this point, this would be closer to 8 o'clock at night? Yes. So it's dark. It's dark. It's getting late. Mm hmm Like you said, you're tired. Yes. And, again, you drive the car. I had no, car. no choice but to drive that car to go get my, my daughter. Your mom didn't go get her? No. So you get, again, back in his car. And go get my child. Drive his car, right? Yes. To go get your daughter. Yes. And he allows you to drive it? Yes, because he was with me. And again, her seat is still in the car? Mm-hmm, yes. In the back passenger seat? Yes. Behind Behind where? the passenger seat. Now Nate is sitting in the passenger seat. Yes. That's right. You'll end up back at your house. Mm-hmm. Yep. Chloe stays the night. Nate ends up leaving. Yep. Is that right? His friends come over though before he before he oh, heads yeah. out. Yeah. And y'all have a cookout at your house? It wasn't a cookout. Wasn't a cookout? No. So y'all just hanging out at your house? Yes, that was just in the yard. Like it's concrete slabs where the cars parked at and then everybody was just outside. Drinking? No. Nobody's drinking. No. You didn't tell um, either Investigator Blackman or Investigator Grant that he came back with some Hennessy? No. You don't remember saying that? No, I don't. Okay. And you said to the jury on direct that whenever the plan for Nate and his two friends to go to Five Points, that you asked him, why would you drive that car with blood in it? Right. You asked him that. Yes, I did. Because why would somebody drive a car with blood really? in it? Right. And he leaves um, sometime after midnight. Right? Yeah. You tell us that he had changed clothes at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You didn't see when and where he changed clothes. No. Had he left? Had he left at some point? Yes. So he left your house, your apartment? Yes and came back in different clothes? Yes. No idea? You don't know where he went? No. Okay. I do want to ask you this. So you're, you told the jury, you're telling us that, that you did not help do any sort of cleanup of that car. No. So it would surprise you if your DNA is found anywhere on any of the items used to clean up. He got them out of my house. So of course my DNA going to be on it. That's my cleaning stuff. It was in my house. Would we expect it anywhere else? No. Beg the court's indulgence.
few more questions, I think. Um, so you met with Investigator Blackman sitting right here. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And you met with him, I believe the date was April 3rd. And you may not remember the exact date, but we'll say April 3rd, okay? Um, and you met with him for quite some time. Yes. And I believe uh, there was another investigator in the room as well. A lady. A lady investigator. And they asked you all kinds of questions. Yes. They asked you about your daughter being in the car. Yes. Um, your daughter sitting in the car seat, in her booster seat, in the back seat that has the blood in it, right? Right. Where else was she going to sit? She can't sit in the front seat. Right. And you told the investigator at that point that you didn't know that there was blood in the back seat. And, I'm, and that probably was a day that I was tired and wore out. Mm -hmm. But when I talked to them again, I cleared it up. Okay. And you told him if you had known there was blood in the car, you never would have put her in there. Is that right? Right. And and you told him that on April 3rd. Is that right? I don't recall the exact date. But the first time you met with him? Yeah. And you, I believe he asks you, um, or basically confronts you on that and says you already knew when you put your daughter in the car that there was blood in there, right? That you were putting your daughter in the back seat and there was blood in there. Yeah. And you tell him, I wanted to see if Nate was going to tell me the truth about it with her being in the car. Is that right? Yes. And you put your daughter in this car, right? Yes. Did you um, know about any other females that, that Nate was seeing? No. So you bl believe that you were the only yep. female. And you eventually find out that he had been talking to other females. No. You didn't figure that no. out. No. You didn't find that out. And you, so you've, you met with the investigators April 3rd. Uh -huh. And then met with them again a few days later. Mm -hmm. After you say you have slept mm -hmm. and rested yep. and I kind of want to go through a, a little timeline here. So they show up at your house. Right. The first time that you talk to them. Right. They bring you down to the police station. Yes. And question you for quite some time. Right. They get a buckle swab of your DNA, yes. swab your mouth, and they take your phone. Yeah. They want to search your phone. Mm-hmm. And touch these words. So, oh, yes. While you're there, Investigator Blackman tells you they got a search warrant for your house. Right. And that you're going to go with them to the house. Yes. While this search warrant is happening. Right. And prior to that, before you go to the house, when the search warrant is happening, is when you tell investigators you didn't see the blood, you didn't know about the blood until later mm -hmm. that day. Right? Right. After they do the search warrant at your house, then on April 6th, three days later, they bring you back in. Right. They start asking you questions again. Right. And that's when you give them a little more information. Right. And it's, you're saying now because you were. I was tired. Better rested. And I was better rested a couple of days after because I had days off. Yeah. Beg your
more questions, I'll be done. Um, Nate didn't keep things at your house. No. Right? Didn't keep clothing items at your house. No. Shoes. No. Any, any personal items. No. Those were mainly in his car. No, I didn't never see clothes in his car. Was never his saw clothes house. in his car. And he told you that night that he was going to stay. Yes. And this previously, though, he didn't stay. What night are you talking about? I'm talking about the night of the 28th into the 29th. So that's Thursday, Thursday into Friday. Thursday Friday. Yes. That was the first night he was going to stay the, the whole night with you. Right. Previously, he had not done that. Right. Just this one night. Right. Was, was the exception. Thank you. I'm going to press that you asked him, why did you ask him to stay that night? Because I don't like staying by myself and I was so far in the country on Leesburg. My family is on the way to on the other side of town. Who was normally with you at night? Chloe. And did you have a roommate? Yes. So this night you asked him to stay, why? Because nobody was home with me. Okay. Now that we cleared that up, what about, no, she asked no you, I'm sorry. regarding the testimony, just ask questions. Yes, sir. Miss Good asked you about the, the search of your house. Right. Did they ever give you the search return from what they took to your house? No. Why not? Did you did you ask them for it? No. Did you want it? No. Did you know what they took from your house? No. Did you know they took they found that tool at your house in the trash? No. Did you know they found bloody clothes in your house in your trash? Mm -hmm. No. Bleeding. Objection sustained. What, if anything, did you know about the bloody clothes they found at your house? I knew about it when they pulled it out of the trash can and they asked me about it. When they asked you about it? Yes. Did you know prior to that? No. Okay. But she asked you about a conversation you had with Mr. Blackman about Nate and your child being in the car. She asked you about wanting to see if he would tell you the truth. Did that happen? No. Okay, what did happen when you put your child in the car? We got in the car and we went back home. And why, if there was blood everywhere in your car, why did, in the car, why did you get back in it? Because I had no choice. How, was it, how else was I going to get home? And why did you let your child get in the car? She had to come home. Couldn't you have called your mother? My mama was asleep. Okay. She's a school teacher. She can't. She's not going to get up that time of night. And when... You stated that the first time you saw blood was on the way to work with, when you stopped at the gas station. Right. Why didn't you get out of the car then? I was worried about getting to work. Who, if anyone else, pays the bills in your house? I pay the bills. So how would you pay the bills if you didn't go to work? Exactly. Um, she asked you about stating why would he drive the car? Were you, was the question, why would he drive the car or why would he drive the car to five points? Why would you drive the car, period. Okay. And why did you drive the car? Because I had no choice but to go get my rent money so I have a place for my child to stay and to go get my child. And when you see all, all this blood and she asked you about him cleaning, why didn't you call the police when he's cleaning everything? Because I was scared. What were you scared? For my life. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen. She asked you about the plans to go wash your clothes. What were you supposed to do at your mother's house? Wash clothes. Why didn't that happen? Because she was leaving. Anything wrong with, why, why didn't you just stay and wash your clothes? I didn't want to stay in her house. So what was the plan based on that? I was supposed to wash clothes while she was there and go back home. But it, she was leaving, so I wasn't going to do it. So what became the plan of what to do with your uniform at that point? He was 
gonna wash my shirt at his sister's house. And she asked you about, let's go talk about his sister's house. You stated this, I believe, but did he keep clothes at your house? No. So at some point he changed his clothes? Did you see him change his clothes? No. Did you see where he put the clothes he had on? No. All right. Now let's talk about those clothes a little bit. You said gray, was it dark gray or light gray? Like a dark gray color. Okay. And the pants, were they dark or light? Dark. And these are the pants that he had on. When did he have those pants on? Since Thursday. And did, inter was he, did he have his clothes on, on Friday when he picked you up to take you to work? Yes. And when you got home? He had the same clothes on. And the person who was wearing those clothing, is he in that courtroom? Yes, ma'am. Where is he? Sitting right there. I need you to look and identify. Sitting right there. What does he have on? A red shirt. I let the record reflect she's identified the defendant, Your Honor. Is that the same person you saw driving the black Impala on the 27th, the 28th, the 29th? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Rowland, where did he keep his phones? On his person or in his car? On him. And was the phone locked or could you just pick up his phone and use no, it? No, he had a lock on his phone. How do you know that? Because once you hit the power button, it'll ask you for a code. Okay. And then our iPhone, you have to use his face or his thumb. His face or his thumb, all right. And that was on the iPhone? Yeah. All right. And in asking him about the blood in the car, what did you ask him about that? I asked, why is it blood in the car? And what was the response? My business. And did you, what about a dog? What did you think? I asked him to try to be funny. Did you hit a dog and put the dog in the car? And what was the response? No. What, if anything, did he ever give you as a reason why there was blood in his car? He didn't really give me a reason. You said earlier you saw his car at some point on the news. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And I believe you said you put two and two together. Yes, ma'am. Can you again explain to the jury why you didn't call the police then? Because I was scared. Scared of what? My, for my life and my child. No further questions, Your Honor. Anything further? Just a couple more questions. Yeah. Okay. had no choice but to get in that car. Right. Right. You had no choice but to get in that car and go get your rent money. Right. You had no choice but to get in that car to go pick, pick up your daughter. Child. You had a choice though when you got in that car and went to pick up cigarettes later on. No. Thank you. You may step Thank down. you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a 15-minute break. Please do not discuss the case. Wait for the jury to leave. Addressing the jury only. Fifteen minutes.